Yeah, hello everybody and welcome to a new video. Today I want to test some artifacts for archers. I'll show you which ones. Um, so the first one is uh, Shadow Blades, which is the, I think, the most common legendary artifact because you can have it from the gold chests. And um, I will not go so much into details, but you could see them. You could see what stage I have at the moment. I have level five Shadow Games. Um, so it's at max level and um, it's an AOV artifact which can um, deal a damage factor of 3600 at the max level and the, um, if you have additional targets um, the reduction is 15% for each target. So the second artifact which I want to test is um, let me This gold crest, which you can uh, get from the Forge of Light event. Um, uh, interesting artifact. It deals uh, a damage factor of 5,500 if it's maxed out, but it deals the damage only to one legion. What is interesting is when you put it on Fraga, which I will do for the test, uh, deals, uh, the Shadow of Light deals an additional damage and immobilizes the target cannot move for five seconds and you have an additional damage factor of 1800 so it's a lot it's combined like 7300 and last but not least the newest artifact which i got from the forge of light event 2 is um, viola's bow which um, isn't maxed out at the moment it's level one so it's not about comparing how much damage each artifact will do. It's more about the usage and uh, we will have a look in the battle reports. And um, the interesting thing about um, uh, Viola's bow is that if you see it at the bottom, um, that the damage targets are sealed, cannot cast artifact skills for 10 seconds. And this I really want to see in open field because this means if you hit with this AOE artifact five enemy troops, these five troops can't um, use their artifact skills for the next 10 seconds. Okay, this is um, the biggest advantage of Viola's bow. It has the same uh, this designated rectangle, which you can say, see in the animation. Um, like Shadow of Light. And what is another big difference is if you see the stats on the on the left side, which are at the moment not maxed out, um, then you, instead of having attack for archers, you have here hit points for archers, um, which can go up. At the moment, I have this artifact only at level 40. Um, we are at the moment close to the end of the season so it's really the right time by the way to, to test something because you don't need the CP so much anymore we are in the last day of the last uh, phase unscared of season one plus and this is enough for the beginning um, I will start with the test so first when you test you should look that you don't have an war artifact um, a war mana stone which you use i use at the moment mana stone of uh, dowsing um, so if you want to test don't use um, any war artifacts like artifacts which are increasing your attack or whatever um, and another thing uh, you can choose to test in in the dragon trail there's no problem choose a level which is uh, which is high enough that you can see how the artifact uh, works. Um, for example, like this. Oh, let me try this out. Like 53. And um, if you want to see uh, how you can use the artifact and how it works in itself, this is with gold crest. Uh, let's see, I can tap on one of the icons. And then I see the points there. Um, the disadvantage if you if you test like this, if you 
the test uh, in the Dragon Trail is you have no reports, so you can see really how this works. And after some reports, and especially at, at the end of the, of the season, especially at, at the end of the season, when there's some CP left which you don't need so much anymore, it's, an, it's the right time to test whatever you want to, ch uh, you want to test. Okay. So I will stop this test now because it's already, yeah, it's already done. Um, so testing in the Dragon Trail is more about have, getting a feeling um, for the artifact, how it works, like this. But if you want to really see something, then you should go to the battlefield and, and, and do some fights. Uh, with the highest uh, dark creatures or darkling patrols which you can beat. I prefer I prefer to use dark creatures at this point because I can get arcane dust and um, because we are now back in Zoland in zone 1 the highest which I can choose is 23. So let's start with the with the test and I will start with the I used all the time the same combination uh, Frega and Kinara uh, which um, uh, at the moment at level 53, both are maxed out. And I will start with Shadow Blades. Um, have some T5 already and the rest is T4. Okay, so we go in there, then we look for the highest, um, for the highest uh, creatures, which by the way, the program is not working perfectly because this is like one, two minutes away. Let's see if we can find something closer. Yeah, there it is. Um, okay, you should know that you will have, when you fight on um, Alliance territory, better results than um, outside Alliance territory, but for the test, it doesn't matter so much. Here we have a stone troll, which we can attack, which we will attack, by the way. Look that you have some uh, CP in your, um, CP bar left for the tests and look that you have your reports empty that you can really compare very fast the results. Okay, so how, how long do we walk by the way? 24 seconds. Okay. So as I mentioned, combination is um, Frega Kinara. And uh, I make this big to really to see the Full animation of Shadow Blades 2. It's very similar to Viola's bow, by the way. Okay. If you have this rectangle, I never click on the icon of the, of the opponent or of the Darkling because um, then you move the direction maybe away. Okay. So we make three tests for the for the video. Normally I make like two three tests on, on every single artifact and see some differences and let's check only if we have a valid report. Um, okay, here's the stone troll. Let's go in the report if the uh, the details we will have a look later. There's the artifact skill here. This icon in turn 17 shows you that the artifact skill is casted on this turn. You can get a feel, first feeling from Shadow Games. The Stone Troll lost, um, the sh stone troll lost around 40k. If you want to see how, or get a feeling for how much this is, you can compare the normal amount of damage which you have in such turns, which is like average like 3k. And in this turn you make um, Instead of 3k, you make 44k um, on the um, on the stone troll. So it's like um, 14 to 15 times the normal damage, which gives you a better feeling how strong the artifact works in itself. Okay, we go back, change the artifact, uh, clear the hospital. I still have some troops left from yesterday fight. Um, not so much, but a few are left. 
Okay, das wieder nicht. Okay, so. The next artifact which we'll test is the classical artifact for Frega, which is really cool, especially in PvP. Um, it's Gold Crest. I'll show you some details in advance. Uh, in advance. Um, it's really crazy damage factor of 5,500. And this uh, passive uh, skill that it immobilizes the target is really crazy. And I'm looking forward um, to use Frega uh, as a flying unit, maybe together with Thea, um, as soon as I will change the faction, um, which I'm not doing at the moment. I'm still in. Um, in a League of Order, but we'll change them for sure. And we'll look, and uh, we'll see then how this will work um, uh, with Wyvern Riders, with Marksmen, and flying units. Um, but this is only something for the future. Okay, so the troops are back. Okay, so we take the uh, the same. Um, Combination that you have a good comparison. We move shadow blades. We use gold crest. Uh, where we do have gold crest? Here we have gold crest. I keep it. Okay. March. Go the same direction outside alliance territory. Normally, uh, after this time, shows up again. If you have the chance, use a stone troll again. No, the same. The uh, hammer troll. Do we have, did we have a hammer troll or stone troll? On the first test, stone troll. So I really search for um, stone troll, which makes the uh, test perfect. Uh, this stone trolls. Here's a stone troll. Okay, I have to walk a little bit longer, but for for a good test, it's really important that you attack the same unit that you can compare something. How long do we walk? Not so long, 118. Um, because then you have a good comparison. Where are we here? Coming here. Okay. If you like, I can show you in this in the meantime my uh, talent tree, which I use at the moment. Um, yeah. The foundation is um, nothing special, and then I'm, I have a lot in the direction of marksmen. And I have to give you the. It goes up to marksmen on the right side. I'm working um, uh, on the mobility. Um, by the way, in the future I will maybe take more mobility, like uh, marksman speed, because I realize that uh, Frega or my archer unit is always the slowest unit, and if you walk with five troops. Then your speed is normally determined by the speed of the slowest troop and not by the fastest. And this is a good idea too, by the way, that you balance um, the speed between all your marches and plan this in advance. The only uh, uh, um, exception is cavalry because cavalry has another usage too. Okay, so what I like is to go from left to right because then there's a good chance to see the full animation. Okay. So here we go, we attack, okay, okay. road quest coming and uh, different to the other artifacts you really have to tap on the symbol of the creature, and you see the damage, 48k or something like this. Save some damage and it really attack. It uh, doesn't cost extra CP, but I'm um, tired on doing this extra news. Uh, save some time to continue the, uh, the fight. Bring this back. You can check if you have a second report on that. So, this is um, the first one. 
seven minutes ago, one minute ago. If you go to the um, to the reports, there you see the. I don't know why I deleted the other report, um, but the stone troll got uh, damage from shadow games of around 40k. Um, normally you should have here a list of the reports. Strange, okay. And you can go to the report too, battle log, and uh, go down when you see the where you see the artifact symbol. Here's the artifact, casted artifact on this turn, and you see the damage is like 66. Okay, but you should check if how much is from definitely from Shadow Flight. Okay, so uh, from Gold Crest, here's the damage, and um, so you see the combination. It's like uh, 48k um, for coming from the uh, from the artifact skill, uh, 5,550 k. Here a little bit deeper. Um, coming from the extra um, Frega passive skill. Um, so combine, combine 66k is a lot on one creature and uh, especially if you're in, uh, in PvP fights, 66k can make really a difference. And if you see, so the next uh, normal um, rounds, the average is like 2000 um, uh, 2k or 2000 points, which um, the combination of Rega and Kanara is doing. And so it's like 33 times more, uh, which you hit in one turn with by using Gold Crest. Okay, so um, at the moment this is already back. Okay, um, then we test the last combination with Viola's Bow. Where's Viola's Bow? Configure Remove. Okay, not the not the best test because, uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, I have um, Viola's bow only at level 40, um, and I think the biggest advantage of having uh, Viola's bow in your team is really that you, in an open field situation, that you prevent um, five marches of the opponent to cast the artifact skill so this can be really helpful for the whole team um, let me check i think here there was the stone troll somewhere uh, stone troll where are you is the stone troll no okay then we go on the normal search stone troll i hope we can find one more As always, when you want to show something, you cannot do it. Okay, here we are. Uh, walk on the right side. How long is the walk? I'm 37. Okay, I can look for my, um, for my gatherer at this point. Where is he? Coming back. Uh, not a good idea. What I wanted here is gathering on alliance territory. Okay, here we go. We send them here. Okay. So let's go back one, one minute 16. So let's summarize a little bit uh, because already long uh, video. Uh, so if you test something, don't do this in the Dragon Trail. You have no reports. D do your tests at the end of the season when you have really some CP left, when you have um, enough time because um, the season is done, um, the war is won or lost or the season is won or lost and um, when you do then your your tests you can use the extra CP which you um, will lose otherwise at the end of the season and if you don't care about having on the strongest lord event um, Darkling Day hundred gems extra or not then this is the right time to do all your tests and um, if you do your tests try to create an environment where you can really see something from the results which means um, 
don't use raw artifacts. Uh, test, for example, if you test now outside of Alliance territory, do the next fight uh, outside of ter Alliance territory too. Okay, let me go a little bit away. So that I'm not too close when I'm start. Why is he following me? Okay. Okay, and here we go. Okay, it's coming closer, so you see the, the whole animation. Um, not when you are in the forest, like I am at the moment. Um, okay, so we go. The same like with shadow flight. So don't tap on the uh, on the creature. Use the corridor. Okay, you saw the nice animation in the forest <laughs> of the bow, of the viola's bow. Okay, should be fast enough. No seconds. Bow. Okay. Okay, what can we summarize uh, for the um, three artifacts for archers? So definitely, if you are in a uh, in a one-to-one -one situation, um, gold crest is a is a monster, uh, no no question. Uh, if you are in open field, um, I think shadow shadow blades is the better choice because you have AOE. And uh, maybe in special situation, or if you are focused on archers and you can use a second AOE um, artifact, Viola's bow is an interesting one because it slows down the artifact usage for the opponent. Um, let me check this. Oh, now we see all three. So here's a comparison, by the by the way, uh, where you see um, shadow games with 40k. You see. Now terminating arrow with 12 or close to 13k. Um, really strange that it doesn't show. Um, that it shows two times here Viola's bow, so it must be a bug in the program or whatever. Um, okay, but let's go in the battle log in the report. Watch out for the artifact symbol here. Cast it, okay. There you can go down, see Frega has activated Viola's bow terminating arrow. Uh, okay. So remember it's only level 40 at the moment, damage factor 1600. And here you see at the bottom damage targets are sealed, cannot cast artifact skills for 10 seconds. This is the interesting part of Viola's bow in my opinion. Okay, but the loss was like uh, close to 13k which is um, like when you see the normal turn, um, normal turn, the normal turn was like uh, 2,100. So it's like seven times more than the normal factor seven uh, in comparison to a normal turn. If you want to see which artifact is at the moment stronger and you go uh, back to the what did I do? Uh, let me check this. Um, okay, here's the artifact skill. Uh, here's the artifact uh, skill on this turn used. Shadow Blades was like 40k. Um, so you see at the moment Shadow Blades definitely has a level 5 um, artifact. No question uh, which is your choice. What is your choice? And um, I hope you could have um, some ideas how to test artifacts or how, s how to test in general and uh, yeah so that's it for today and have a good time bye bye